<clears throat> Alrighty, next floor, and we've got some new enemies now, including one of the most dangerous in the ancient cave, leeches. I guess Gladius. You know, they're actually not that dangerous as long as you're careful. You can see if you're close, he moves on your every third move. But if you move farther away, he teleports. And that's when you're farther away that it's the most tricky. because he can teleport right to where you are. Okay. Oh, it's just one, so... Big whoop. But there's also a Mega Cyclops in the room below this, so that should also be interesting. I think just one hit from Mega Cyclops will take Tia out. So I'm definitely going to be using Coma, I think, just, just really to keep her alive. I don't think I want to use any IP. There I go again with Sky Swords. I don't think I want to use any IP, um, at least not of Maxim's, since I'll need his for a holy attack probably on the next floor. So, it's not the coolest way of beating these guys, but it's the safest. And if it's been a while for you, just a normal attack from a Mega Cyclops can take out like 300 plus HP. Dang. See, what happened there is Lexus connected with his coma. But then that normal attack by Darby knocked him out of his coma. And we know it didn't happen at the end of the round, or else it would have said Mega Cyclops wakes up. So there's no reason to, to risk it. We'll just start over. And that's the risk you always run when there's an attack after you cast coma. Okay, so now they're both asleep. We know that because it didn't say miss, but now this terminate could wake them both up. And it did, it woke up the one in the back row. And really, to be the safest, I should cast Coma on him by both of these guys, but let's just hope Lexus's connects. And at least he's in, that Mega Cyclops is in the back row. Okay, it connected. But again, all these attacks that we're doing could just knock them awake. That time it knocked the one in front awake. Or, yeah, awake. You can see the one in the back is gently bouncing. Okay, it connected. Very nice. And see, this is going to be the strategy for some other enemies too, like Orky. Alright, that Mega Cyclops still asleep, so we can just tee off on him now. Beautiful. Oh, by the way, one of those Sphinxes actually dropped an old helmet. And of course I can't use it, but it's cool to look at. Well, and you can't even get a good idea of what it is there. I think it appears at some point in the normal quest, doesn't it? But it's one. It's, I think it's the best helmet for Guy and Dakar. 
Or do they? Ha yeah, I think it is. Now this is either going to be blue dragons or black dragons. What do I want here? I oh, want way at the top. And since I don't know what which it is, I'll just go ahead and use the weapon that's effective against both of them. Oh, also, I faced this pairing before, and it was only after the battle that I realized I should have checked how many Thundo Jewels I have stocked up in case this one drops one. It will be a phantom drop, and I had two. Still have two. Okay. You can see there, a leech. And I might as well go ahead and engage him since I think I'm going to get the surprise attack. Now, now, see, I had just told you a few floors ago that when you find one in the doorway, you always get the surprise attack. I should have said there's an exception. I'll ride a boom sword. Cool. Of course, I don't know that I would ever use that with having the sky sword, but at least the boom sword's IP attack keeps its elemental property when it does its attack all. Oops, see, I almost ran into him there. And leeches are super agile, so there's no chance at me getting to go first in a battle where it's not a surprise attack. Okay, this isn't bad either. Just as long as we take care of the leech. Well, it looks like I could have had Tia hit one of those Nosferatu, but I just wanted to be sure to take one out. Well, also, I should keep an eye on my Gloom Jewels. Usually, I don't care at this point if I'm dropped a Gloom Jewel. Well, and that'll be, it'll actually show if I am dropped one. But my rocks are just terrible. I mean, Hedora Rock, that's the only good one I've got. Two Pumpkins. A Bat Rock and a Cancer Rock. That's where I could really use an upgrade. stock up there. Okay. And again, coming to the end of a clip. <laughs> Not in a lot of danger here. So I might wait for something interesting before I actually come back. Maybe we'll get dropped a Thundo Jewel for the end of this clip. And remember, I've got two in stock, and it won't show me since it'll be a Phantom Drop, so I'll just have to see if suddenly there are three in my inventory. Nice level up. Nope, just two. kind of like to get this battle out of the way before the end of the clip, since it's somewhat dangerous. Nah, come on. No. Come on, I want to get this in. Ah, 
Nah, it's not gonna work. Okay. And again, I don't have a holy whip or else that's what would be on Tia. Beautiful right there, beautiful. Critical attack by Maxim with his flying blow. That's exactly why we equip that over the silver sword. Also, you might note, I've been conserving my IP, and I've been too stingy, I think. If I make a bad move here and get killed off, I'll look at that as one of the things I've done wrong, is not use my IP. 